interesting film. I previously did not know anything about sockeye salmon. Certainly, I did not know how vital and integral that their life cycle is to the community as a whole and the nature and animals that rely on it. It shows how interconnected everything in nature is from our lives to the bear population to the salmon themselves and everything in between. Um, it's like, you know, this chain and if one link in the chain is off or goes off course, everything else is impacted by it. So that was really fascinating to learn about. I really enjoyed how they showed the entire life cycle from birth to death and then birth again um, of the salmon. Fascinating documentary. I learned a lot and um, overall it was beautiful. And also it goes without saying how absolutely stunning the, the footage was that was captured. I can't even imagine how long it must have taken to create it. And I can absolutely tell that this was a labor of love. I didn't think I was going to be as interested as I was in this one. It is just so beautifully presented and in a, such a compelling way with all this great footage. Um, there's just so much to enjoy about this one. Of course, it is nature film. So, I mean, you do get a little bit of uh, very mild, you know, fish mutilation, I guess. But... Um, I just think they, they touched on everything uh, really eloquently and presented it really well. And it's just the final word in Sockeye Salmon documentary, I think. The entire film was very informative. Um, I feel like I learned so much about the Sockeye Salmon just while watching the film. It had beautiful visuals. Like the view, the visuals in this film were amazing the way the sceneries were captured all worked so well and it really helped to bring so much life and beauty to the film um one of my favorite parts was hearing about how this place the animals weren't hunted so they didn't really know fear and you know i wish that every animal everywhere could be able to say the same thing but it's unfortunate that that's not the case um, but the documentary does like a great job on giving information about Sockeye Salmon and what it means to this country. And for that, I think the film was fantastic. Spellbinding aerial cinematography provided by co-director Dimitri Spelnak. Um, and I was also very impressed by the overall editorial uh, design of the show, uh, which was provided by co-director Vladislav Grishin. Um, very interesting to learn that the entire economy of the southern Kachkat Kamchatka is built on sockeye salmon, and um, very it, the the ultimate theme was that poaching has got to be stopped in order for it to provide the human resources as well as for the staggering bear population, which at times seemed to be starving from. It seemed like sometimes it was overfishing, and sometimes it seemed like the problem was from the um, lack of caviar due to the poaching. In any way, it was beautiful to look at and very informative, and I thought the best line came from the gentleman who said that Kamchaka carries the taste of life, and it brings some sort of magic. A sort of, some, a, a sort of magic I myself would like to see myself in person beautiful show. This is definitely an epic uh, short film, but I really liked it because it went through so many different aspects of that community. It wasn't just about the salmon, and I really liked how it also went into detail about the salmon, like where it um, comes to kind of like, you know, plant its eggs or hatch its egg like the actual life cycle of the same in itself and then from there you went into the impact of the community and from there the challenges that the community faces with poaching and the greater ecosystem with the bears and everything else like i liked how it didn't just focus on one aspect it focused on the entire environment and what how everything was so connected what a stunning set of visuals I don't even know how they got some of these shots, but I felt so up close and personal with the environment and with the the animals. Um, just gorgeous sweeping shots. Even that first shot of the their forms gliding up to the surface just so delicately was amazing. I really 
think this is an amazing tool for um, watchers to, to create more care and awareness in this as well. And then the film definitely convinces me overall as the viewer that there needs to be a, a solution to satisfy uh, each perspective, one being the satisfaction of the land and then one being to satisfy the future of our land for future generations to come. So I think it was great that it put a great emphasis on educating the young. And from a, you know, a, a purely filmmaking perspective, it's really beautifully shot. And it does a great job at showing footage and gorgeous cinematography, showing footage of the salmon themselves, of their journey, of the experiences of wildlife as they hunt this salmon. What's great about that in these kinds of environmental documentaries is that it reminds us to put everything else aside and really see things from the animal's perspective, from nature's perspective in itself. And the best documentaries really do that. They, you know, they have, of course, the dialogue and all of these interviews with experienced people in the subject matter. But what's great is when we get right in there and are able to see nature at work for itself. And this documentary gives us that opportunity so often. And I think that's one of its greatest successes. Mm -hmm.